Jamar. I just want to share about the daily devotions that I have in uh, Rick Warren. Every day I read it every morning before I before I work. I first read the devotion and I want to share it to you the six steps on what you do in times of crisis. It can give you a wisdom. It gives you a knowledge on what to do in these times. Uh, prayer is the key to enduring any crisis. We can learn a lot this one from Daniel and, and his prayer life. As an old man, uh, when, the time, when the time came closer for the Israelites to return to their homeland, uh, Daniel knew his people were not ready. The Israelites still did not have a right relationship with God. The, this grave Daniel, so he prayed. His prayer in Daniel 9 provides six important pieces about how to pray in a way that God answers during a crisis. We look at each of these six steps over the next few days. So, pag-aaralan natin ito. So, first, you let God speak to you before you speak to Him. That's the first. You let God speak to you before you speak to Him. You need to hear the voice of God. He will always make the first move in your life. He never expects you to do something He doesn't do first. That's our God. The Bible says we love God because He first loves us. We serve Him because He first serves us. God initiates. Then we respond. So how do you listen to God? You read the Bible, right? We talk to God before, before because He first talk, uh, talk with us through His Word. Daniel did this. In Daniel 9, 1 to, 1 to it was the first year of the reign of Darius the Midi, the son of Ahasuerus, I think Ahasuerus, who became king of the Babylonians. During the first year of his reign, uh, Daniel learned from reading the word of the Lord as revealed to Jeremiah the prophet that Jerusalem must lie desolate for 70 years. You will never you will never pray effectively until you study scripture and listen to God. The more you know the Bible, the more effective your prayers will be. So first, what do you do in times of crisis? You let God speak to you before you speak to Him. Because most of us, we just directly keep our prayers we just directly pray without knowing what God wants us to pray that's what Daniel do he just seek God he just know God first he just read the word of God in Daniel so we need to read the Bible first to know God what is his will because if it is his will especially in our prayer that prayer will be answered so church you need to read the word of God read the word of God every now and then before you sleep before you take a bath every morning every night but if you have a chance in your office read the Bible so that you will know what God wants in you so that you will God will give you wisdom what kind of prayer you should do so that God will answer your prayer. Maraming maraming salamat. Hanggang sa muli. God bless everyone.